Your ways are just and true. Because everything the Lord done on the cross, He done it through justice. What is justice? Law. And what is, the tr what is true? Above the time. Man, I don't have the time. <laughs> The ways of the Lord are just and true. Justice, law, meaning He saved us by law. He redeemed us by law. He came to us by law. He never broke no law because if He had broken any law of God, He couldn't have been any longer the Savior and the Redeemer. He fulfilled every law to make us sons of the Almighty God. Your ways are just law and they are true above the time. One day I was asked by this person a question. I said for the shortness of time like now, <laughs> I'll say to you this, all I want from you is yes or no. Short answer please, short reply. I said, he was questioning the apostolic teaching. So I said to him, okay, I'll ask you this, my dear friend. The Lord Jesus is talking about the bread and the wine. And he says, this bread is truly my body. And this wine is truly my blood. I said, theologically speaking, theologically speaking, because the gospel according to St. John is the depth of theology. I beg you, when you read the Gospel of John, don't just read it as it is. It's much deeper than what you read at surface level. Much deeper. I said, theologically speaking, can you please explain to me the word truth? Now let's put aside the bread and the wine. I'm not talking about that now. I'm talking theologically. What does the word true? When the Lord says, this bread is truly my body and this wine is truly my blood. The word truth, theologically, explain. He said, the, uh, truth, everything that is reality. I said, then what is reality? Don't tell me it's truth. Because even linguistically speaking, they are two different words. They're not the same. There is the truth and there is reality. I said, look, to cut it short, reality, everything that is under the time, truth, Everything that is above the time, this is the theological interpretation. Reality, everything is under the time. Truth, everything is above the time. This gathering today, my beloveds, I can't call it truth. Why? This is only reality. Why? Because reality is everything that is controlled by the time and governed by the time is called reality. This is reality. Why? Because there was a time we had to start the Bible preach. And a time will come we will have to finish the Bible preach. And when we finish, everybody will go their way. This reality will change. Therefore, reality changes. Truth never changes. Because everything that is under the time will change. But everything that is above the time will never change. Because change only comes when time controls you and controls things. Yesterday I was, today I am, tomorrow I will be. I changed. Look at the Holy Bible when it talks about Jesus, the man, the perfect man. Not God, the perfect man. Jesus, yesterday, he is, not was. Today he is and forevermore he is why because jesus lives above the time where time does not exist and when time doesn't exist what then exists eternity what is eternity eternity is a day never ends the sun never goes down above what you've done for me lord the works that you've done are great and marvelous great and marvelous you died on the cross this is the work you've done you died on the cross for me i the sinner i am the prodigal son who lived in the pig's field i swam in filth and sin i denied you i brought shame to you 
and yet you died for me? Amazing. How did you die for me? My ways are just. By law, I saved you. And above that time, I brought you. Truth. Two things control every human being. Now forget about your religion. Just put your religion aside. Every single human being are controlled by two things. Time and place. I cannot exist without a place. I cannot move without a time. For me to exist, I need a place. And for me to move from one place to the other, I need time. Without time, there is no movement. Without a place, there is no existence. Therefore, I am chained, bounded by the place and the time. Whether I like it or not, I'm enslaved to the time and the place. The Lord came to bring me in the, the, into the truth. What is the truth? Above the time and above the place. When the Lord came to give me a, that eternity, where there is no time, there is no place, then I can claim I am free. For as long as I live under the time, I have to die. And when I die, there is a place to bury me in, called the cemetery. Well, that's a place. And there was a time to take me there and bury me. The Lord came, abolished the place, abolished the time. I'm free. What is freedom? Eternal life. His sacrifice on the cross was done in the truth. Above the time. 